हेलो वेलकम टू एस एस यूनिटेक सुशील डिसाइड एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी अबाउट द पार्स ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इन द एस डेटा फैक्ट्री सो बिफोर गोइंग फॉरवर्ड इफ यू हैवेंट वॉच द लास्ट वीडियो ऑफ दिस वीडियो सीरीज सो आई वुड स्ट्रॉन्गली रिकमेंड टू वॉच दैट वीडियो वेयर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द स्टिग्निफाइड ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन सो वॉट इज पार्स ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन यूज द पार्स ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन टू पास टेक्स्ट कॉलम इन टू योर डेटा दैट आर स्ट्रिंग इन द डॉक्यूमेंट फॉर्म द करंट सपोर्टेड टाइप ऑफ इम्बेडेड डॉक्यूमेंट दैट कैन बी पास जेसन एक्समेल एंड डेलीमेटेड टेक्स्ट सो दीज आर द सपोर्टेड फॉर्मेट दैट वी कैन पास सो वॉट इज द पास ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन लेट सी इन द प्रैक्टिकल सो यू विल हैव द बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग सो हियर इफ यू हैव सीन इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव लोडेड द डेटा from the source to this table which is the sales raw table what we need to do here we need to parse this item into two column like the item 1 item 2 for this item 5 6 and 10 for three columns so in the destination where we want to load the data in the below table we can see the item 1 item 2 item 3 so from this data it will be passed into three columns similarly for the address it is having like city state and country so this data will be going to load into the city state and country so this json will be going to pass into three columns here and this item which is the delimited text we could say with the comma delimited so this will be passed into three columns with item 1 2 and 3 so this is the actual use of the parse transformation and this is very useful while we are going to deal with the xml or the json or the delimited text of any column so let me go into the azure data factory and we'll try to implement this in practice now let me try to add a new data flow so let me click on these three dots with the new data flow option here let me call this data flow as data flow of parse transformation so that is for ps now first we have to add the source so as we have already seen the source is the ssms table which is the sales underscore raw table so let me try to click on this add source for that table we have already created the data set so let me try to add the data set here so we can see this raw let me try to open this so we can verify so this is pointing to the azure sql database and the table which is the sales underscore raw so the same table now here let me try to go in the data preview and try to refresh so we can verify the data as we have seen in the source so as we can see it has all the data now let me try to add the parse transformation first so this is the parse transformation and let me call this parse transformation for ps underscore items let me go here in the items as we have already seen we are having the delimited text here and it has total three columns value now so here it is showing error because we have used this underscore let me remove that and go back to here so here input stream that is the source one that is okay the format format as we have seen for the item that is the delimited text so we have to select that one and after that in the delimited text setting let me open this first row as header so we are not going to select that one in the column delimiter that is the comma so everything is okay let me try to close this and after that here we can see the column so either we can create a new column or we can modify in the existing column so that we have to select over here so i am going to select the items here now under this expression we have to write the expression so the expression like from which column we want to do the parse we have to select here so that is the items column so from this column we are required to do the parse so here let me call this with the parse so let me use the ps after this items so this a new column will be added in your output stream here we can see the output column type so here let me define the complex type as we have already seen we have total three columns so let me call the first column value as item 1 as what will be the data type that will be string we can put the comma second for the item 2 and after that let me put the string as well similarly for the item 
as your string value now let me save and finish and here let me go in the data preview and try to refresh it so it will be going to have the data with three different columns for the item that we have already seen so as we could see here the item one value which is the i1 that we can see which is hidden here second for the item 2 that is this one third is for item 3 for the first row we did not have the item 3 let me verify that here we have only two items and here we have three items so that's why here we can see none and here we can see the value so this is we have passed successfully for the delimited text similarly let me do for the json format let me try to add a new pass because if we can see in the pass setting here we can select the format only once and we can add the multiple columns but the format that should be the same so here we are going to use the json similarly we can do for the xml as well let me add the pass transformation and this pass transformation for the json one so let me call this as country underscore we are not going to use we can directly write ps now the incoming stream that is okay here the format that the json here we can see the json settings so the document form document form is the single document we can select that one let me go in the columns now like which column we are going to create any new column or modify in the existing one so i am going to create a new column with the output new here under the expression we want to do the pass for the address column this time so we can select the address and save and finish here we can see the expression so again we have to write the expression here similarly we have done in the item one so city the data type that is the string second for the state data type as a string country data type as a string so this will be having three columns let me save and finish here let me go in the data preview and try to refresh it so it will be going to have three columns there as well so we could wait here we can see like the last three columns this is for city this is for the state and this is for the country so these three columns are added here now everything is okay so this is very straightforward we can say like in the par setting we can select the format and after that we can select the column by which we want to do the parse so under the expression we have to specify the output column we can select here either we can modify the existing one or create the new one so i have created the new here then we have to specify the columns with their data types that will be passed now we want to load this into the sql server table so let me add this thing here and after that here we are required to select the data set so data set can be selected because i have already created the data set for the same so this is the first one data set that we have created for this so let me try to open to verify the same so this is pointing the same server and database and the table which is the sales underscore final and here the table which is the sales underscore final let me close this go to the mapping and auto mapping we have to off and here we need to do the mapping so here we can see item 1 item 2 item 3 so we need to select the item 1 item 2 item 3 so this is under this column which is the items underscore ps so let me add the item 1 from this similarly for item 2 and similarly for the item 3 now here we can see the city state and country so this is coming from the address so address column is having all this data so that we can see address new first is city so we can select it second is the state so we can select the state from here similarly for the country we can select the country here as well so we have done this mapping successfully let me go in the data preview and try to refresh it so here as we can see we are having all the data as per our expectation let me try to publish this and after that let me try to add a new pipeline to execute this data flow here for executing the data flow we are required to use the data flow activity 
so we can drag and drop it here so publish is completed we can select the data flow that we have created so go to the setting and here we can select the data flow which is data flow underscore ps this is we have created let me try to execute this so after completion of this execution your final table will have the data so as we can see it got executed successfully let me go in the ssms and try to execute this query again so here as we can see the data is successfully loaded into the destination table and this item which is the comma delimited passed into three columns that we can see and this address which is the json is passed into three columns which is the city state and country so we are successfully loaded from this format to this format so thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video